Okay, so in terms of this video, how we're going to do this is by doing, learn by doing. Um, we're going to do some pivoting and we're also going to do some um, joining, but the highlight of this video is to pivot. Um, so let's go ahead and bring in tidyverse, okay? Um, and the thing is, in terms of this situation, I'm using made up data so that, and I'm also showing you making me making up the data so that you can understand how this thing works and why it's important. Like why I love this. Um, so go ahead and run. We ran the, um, tiny verse. If I do student roster, I just want to see all my students, you know, okay. So the student one through seven, the, all the IDs and their student names. Okay. Great. Fantastic. All right. So with that being said, I want to show you some questions. Like let's say, for example, I have a quiz and a final um, or a, a quiz and a midterm. Um, I don't know why I'm joining. I have different subjects, but this is me generating the data. But let's just look at let's run this and let's look at what I'm, what I'm able to create. If you have time, you can look at these some of these new functions, maybe repeat and paste so that you can learn some more. And so here we have the questions we have the question question IDs questions the max score possible because of course midterms are worth more the difficulty of the questions and the subject okay so on so forth um okay, that's cool great fantastic <laughs> all right and so then from there we get the students responses and I actually made a little bit of a typo not a typo but I didn't say what this is let's say that this is um this is type and let's say this is going to be all quizzes. C repeat um, quiz. Yeah, seven times. In his oh yeah, quiz seven times. Okay, good, fantastic. So now when I run this, okay, I now have um, student responses wide. Okay. So I have all the responses for each of the students because, of course, I don't want to show the students' IDs. <laughs> I mean, students' names, students' names, their responses, how well they did it on each question, and the actual type. Okay, that's fantastic. All right. So now, finally, you know, finally, we want to change the format of our um, students' responses. And currently, it's in wide format in that each row represents an observation or a tidy format. Each row represents an observation and each column represents a variable. Great, fantastic. However, if I want to, for example, you know, describe what's happening on each question, at least have um, each question, um, Each row represent a question corresponding to a student. It's imperative that I um, make the data frame long. Okay, so if I want to analyze how each student performed on each question uh, individually, I need to make it long. So I'm going to do something kind of funny. You're going to say, why am I doing this? You'll see that in a little bit. Because I'm actually going to make this long, but I'm actually going to remove the fact that we are taking um looking at a quiz and actually I, I want to do that actually around here I want to do that here okay I want to remove type here okay I want to move it there okay that makes sense so let's go ahead and um, make this data frame long Okay, so student response is long. Now I have each student's um, student's response to the question. Okay, you may say, okay, why is this important? One of the biggest things is that if I have characteristics about questions, I can then join them. That's what I'm talking about joining. Um, join them here so I can see how students perform on, let's say, for example, these are all hard questions. I can look, I can group it by hard. I can see how each student performed on the hard questions. Or if I want to see how students perform on the math questions, I can do that. Um, we'll do that hopefully in this video. Hopefully in this video. All right. And so, um, with that being the case, that's pivot longer. And so it's important that it's actually to note that it's only selecting so now that I see this, I could, I could have kept it in. <laughs> it's only going to pivot longer um, 
on question on actual questions that start with Q um, here. So it would have it would it would know naturally to do that. And then it's going to change the column names regarding what starts with Q as question text. And then the corresponding values that are within each of these variables will then be um, stored within the column score. Hopefully that made sense. Um, so let me go ahead and remove this and let's see if it works. So right now it's 35 by 3. Now it's divided by four because then each row was going, each column, another column will be type stating that it is a quiz. Exactly. I'm kind of okay with that. We're kind of okay with keeping that. All right. And so when it comes to pivot wider, what you're doing is you're taking, you're taking that um, data frame that you just had, student responses, and I'm going to make it wide again. And so let's say, for example, the data, for some strange reason, came to me in this format. I can make it wide and tell it that I'm going to have the columns be the questions text, and then the score is going to be the actual values in it, so that it's going to give me each row for the corresponding IDs that exist, and the actual columns are going to be that the, the information's in question text, and then finally the values are going to be the score. Okay, so this might throw an error because I didn't, yeah. Oh, student responses. Underscore long. Okay. All right, so now that we did that, wide again. Let's do wide again. And so then it gives it us but it's the order is that the right order but you can see that it's given us the same information again going from where, where it was long back to wide where you have student IDs you have question one to question five like we saw in the original oh this is the right order uh -huh. so one two five two four sorry not that one except that one two five two four so it's the same oh yeah, I knew it was out of order. One, two, five, two, four. So this is the wide, and then this is wide again. Hopefully that made sense. Um, so this is pivot longer and pivot wider. In the next video, because of time, I hate longer than 10 minute videos. I'm actually going to join the questions characteristics to questions characteristics as well as the roster to be able to make generalization. I'll least talk about some students' performances on this, on this test. Uh, on this quiz. I forgot to say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs>